Now, we begin. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. It's Jordan Melds with another Climbing with Alawe. Uh, so I've been away for a few days, just came back. Uh, might be rusty, but we'll see how it goes. A Rissa Quinn matchup. And you see already, it's a it's an obnoxious matchup. It really is. She has Ignite. The first thing we want to remember, because this is very easy to forget. If they have Ignite, we have Teleport. We do not want to die before we use our Teleport, right? We do not want to let them get a kill off of Ignite before we use Teleport. We have Bottle, we have Teleport. As she pokes us down, we want to make sure we try to get rain, uh, experience on these. But if we don't get them, the CS, that's okay. I'll be careful with my Qs here. One, I want to go up and get those three so bad, but they're kind of not juggling right. These three up here. Yeah, what we want to be able to do is um, reset at like you know even even if it's just three hundred gold. If we have to reset at three hundred gold because we took so many so much poke damage, we want to do that. That's it's better to reset with three hundred, get like cloth armor or boots, and um, use your teleport and refill your bottle and all that. So that's what we're looking for here. Now the beautiful part of these matchups is that they usually do push pretty easily. So we don't have to worry too much about jungle gank. Here I am going to thin this wave out a little bit. This is an important thing to note about stop, uh, freezing is you do want to thin the wave out occasionally, right? You don't want to let it get so big you can't freeze it. Again, just chug your bottles here too. Just chug, 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 chug. I'm already down to one bottle charge, so that's okay. Wait, missed that. Now that we're level 3, so basically this lane is us pretty much AFK into our 3. We start going for these. If we can land Q, or if we can land ease, we can actually get some kills and all that. Now, if we don't, we, we just keep fishing. We keep fishing. If we don't hit ease, if we're really bad about hitting ease versus our laner, then, I mean, what can we do? We just keep keep working on it, all right? This lane, these range matchup lanes really do depend on your ability to land ease. There, she, she only had one path, so if she wanted to go up there, she had to run through that path, so I threw the E there. We see, okay, we're looking at the mini-map here. I'm going to run down, actually. Nope, okay. Should be okay here. Okay, not long enough. Now, they do have a lot of Ignites and a lot of Rain Champs. Really not a good team comp for me. Oh no, I think it's done. Not good, not good. So we're watching the menu up here, we're watching for this guy. I don't know if I can go mess with him too much. I kinda just wanna get this push in real quick while he's doing prompt. He did, I noticed Ramus did flash, so don't worry about that. Now, I could try to 1v2 them if I pull them between my tentacles. Ramus was a little bit low, not crazy low, but a little bit low. And, um, coins, you know, somewhat half health. Okay, that's okay. Keep running. I don't know where Ramus is. I'm still watching the, ra the minimap. Because we know Ramus is topside, we're just watching the minimap like a hawk, right? We know our jungler is getting bot rift, or bot scuttle. We see Ramus just got scuttled here. There's really not too much to do here. So, uh, a lot of players I'll notice when I'm doing, like, bot reviews is they'll just keep pushing under turret and no no awareness of the jungler. Listen, if I am pushed up be beyond uh, halfway through the river, my min-map awareness should just jump. Now, if we're really good, it'll always be that good. But if you're if you're not really that good at min-map awareness, at the very least, the farther up in the lane you are, the more you should think to yourself, okay, where is their jungler? Where is he? We gotta find him. Now, if we don't know where he is, because we weren't watching the mini map, then we need to give up some minions and wait until we do see him. So you notice I was very passive up for a, li for a little bit there, because I didn't know where the jungler is. And I don't want to throw this lane, because I'm greedy about where, where uh, Ramus is. So it seems 4-0 to right now, not very good. We're up 2 CS, we still have 4 here to catch. Um, luckily, because I did land a couple of E's, it did get her to back off, so I didn't have to worry too much about getting destroyed. I'm going to push this. It looks like, nope, she didn't back. Unlucky. I'm not too worried right now. I'm gonna, I am going to reset before I fight. And the beautiful thing is, she is not going to want to back, because she doesn't, she does have her ult, so she can back away pretty quickly. But you know, she's not going to back here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teleport. Oh, she might back. No. Okay. Well, she's making a liar out of me, are we? Uh, we could go Tabby's here. I'm feeling really good, though. I'm, I'm, landing, I'm landing my abilities. So we're just going to go Phage and maybe a Pink Ward. 
I do see some allowies, again, when I'm doing bot reviews, they'll hold their teleports for, like, this first spec. Just use it. Um, we're, we're, like, hardly ever going to teleport down to, uh, to a bot lane fight. Allowy just isn't made for that. We're not like a Camille or a Riven or an Aurelia where they can just get into a fight and go. We have to have a lot of setup. Okay. Nice. Now our win con here is definitely land a couple E's, wait for her to walk up and make the mistake of standing on her spirit, and then we're going to flash hold onto her and kill her. In the meantime, we're just going to poke with E's, poke with E's. Keep fishing, keep fishing. Wait for her to go to CS. She, you notice she's messing up CS now. She's messed up a lot of CS. We're also waiting for that jungle to come. We do, however, are a little bit worried she does still have Ignite. You notice that Ignite didn't do her any good, though. We are able to keep her from pressuring us too much. That's no, okay. Uh, so she couldn't get any lead out of her Ignite. We're up 20 CS. We're working on the plates. We see Ramus bot side, so I'm worried about that. Go for the plate here. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Bottle charge. Might have been a little bit greedy. But... Just keep pushing. We have better wave clear. And guess what? The more we're pushing like this, the less she can actually utilize her passive to make map movement plays, which is really what Quinn's want to do. Okay, hold on, hold on. Dang, I messed that up a little bit, but we might get the one time here. We're going to get it. There we go. Okay. Good, good. We see, I just looked at the minimap. Remember, you get a kill, look at the minimap. We saw right here, go back and watch it. We saw Zoe and Ramus there, so we don't have to worry about them. We're going to push one more. I think our Demolish should be about up. We should get one more plate safely here. I wish, oh, no, that's a bone plating. There we go. I'm not, a lot of people will save for another one here. I don't think it's worth. It's really not. Um, Quinn has really good ability to get back to lane. We don't know if Ramus reset. He's really quick too. He can get back to top very quickly. We don't want to end up trying to push for this plate, barely miss it, and then we're stuck in this weird limbo where, um. Oh, this is a Triforce game. Actually, let me think about this. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I was going to get one more ping, but I want to get back to lane. We don't want to be stuck in this weird limbo where we try to push for one more because we're being greedy, which we really don't have to be. Quinn comes back to lane, and now she's pushing the lane. And now we feel like we can't back because we'll give up a wave. But then we just say and we give up minions because we don't want to reset to lose the wave. And then we end up dying to either Quinn or... Um, oh, oh, no. I'm I was trying to explain this. I think he's about to die. Or I might have just tilted him by pinging that. Oh, he got a trade kill. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but yeah, we don't want to, like, overstay trying to get that plate, and then we don't want to reset, and then we end up dying to Quinn and Ramus anyways. That's really bad. I like this pink. Uh, if you can get by, if you can get away with it, it's a deep pink that tells you when your their jungler resets and goes to, to start that camp. No. Rip. Not in technical rank. That's all right. We're not really trying to fight until our ult's back up. That's okay. That's a safe E because we can just run away. Wait. We wait. And now we're just going to do back to what we were doing. Use that tower advantage. Uh, this game would look a lot... This line would look a lot different if I was... Uh, oh. Look okay, at we see Ramus here. If I miss E's, right? So you can see I, every time I miss E, I have to back up. I have to back up. I have to back up. If I land my E's, well then it's a different story. I like to throw the Z's out right right as the minions are dying. It, it really does increase your chance of landing those. So, like, you Q, and then you E right after, because there was a minion blocking you, but you killed the minion. And they think they're safe, because there was a minion in front of them. But the minion's dead now, because you killed it. Nope. That's okay. I'm going Trinity Force here. I do have a video on it. Be sure to check that out if you haven't. Basically, range, 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 range. Uh, I'm not too worried about Ramus. Ramus could be a little annoying, but... Um, Trinity Force will also help our ability to really split push effectively. Oh, that was kind of greedy. That's a good one. She's, um, she's going to need to either reset or she's just going to try to stay with no mana or health. Stop. There, we'll give that one up. We'll go for this one. This one I do want to defend pretty aggressively. Dang. Okay. I do want to get this plate. I do want to do it safely, though, because I don't have E yet. I don't want to... 
Grab his throne behind me. Nice. Come on, slim, 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 slim. No slim. Okay. Got the slim. We see Ramus bot again. I'm just looking at the minimap. I'm going. All right. Where's the Where's the teammates? Mainly, you want to think about where are the jungler and the mid laner. So we see Zoe mid. We saw uh, Ramus just die bottom. Their Their support might run up here. You can sometimes that'll be a problem, but I'm not too worried about it. Again, I'm just gonna get one plate and back off. That's all I'm doing here. Use my Trinity Force or my uh, Sheen procs. I can push this wave actually too. I'll do that. If you can save for the to push the next wave, it does help a good bit. To make sure that your next wave crashes them to the turret and just denies one more wave from the enemy. If you can do it safely, go for it. If you can't, just let it bounce. It'll it'll end up bouncing back to you. Um, so either way is okay. Now we're gonna go Trinity Force and we're going to start building into some armor boots. Um, here we'll go Sarek Sage next. We will it'll help us with the Zoe and uh, Rama CCs. So yeah, now we're up. We're up 40 CS. We're up four plates. We're up um, two kills. We're really, we're really working this lane. And a big part of this lane is just not throwing it before level three or level or your first back. Right? You basically you're pretty much AFK until level three. You start throwing E's. If you're landing E's, you're doing well. Um, if you're missing E's, you're just trying not to die too much. Don't give up too much health. Um, a big reason that people throw these lanes is that they try to get every minion. In going for a minion where Quinn's just going to walk up and auto-attack you 20 times, you're going to lose 400 health, it's not worth getting 18 gold. Like, that's not a good trade. Um, you know, if you had something... Think about it this way. If you had an item in the shop... Um, hmm, how do I explain this? One bottle is 50 gold, and it gives us 150 health, right? So think about giving up 400 health for 18 gold. That's not good. That ain't it, Chief. It's a bad ratio. Again, boom, boom. Kill the minion in front of me. Throw the E out. Really increase your percentage of lands. I do have teleport. I could look for a teleport play here. Looks like they're just going to disengage. We don't really want to commit to a teleport unless there's really a fight going on, right? Like, this dragon actually wouldn't be bad to go for, but I think our team is giving it. Mainly because we don't have mid-pressure. I could go for a flash ult here, but I don't think I need to. I think I can just keep pressuring. Oh, I did go grasp. Um, there's really not too much to gain from conquer. and uh, There's not too much to gain from conquer in these fights. I don't think these fights will be very long. I think they'll end up being pretty short fights, right? The enemy team will either explode or will explode. I'm going to go for a kill here. I am so sad. Don't look at me, chat. Don't look at me! Get her. Wait, are you serious? Chat, don't... Oh, comment section, don't look at me. Why didn't she run? I thought for sure she would just run this. Like, I'm, I'm like dying to the turret. Like, I have to go here. I thought she'd be like closer. She ended up running way over here for some reason. Oh, well. <laughs> kind of throwy, but um, Zoe just has that. Uh, she, she has that tilt factor, I suppose. <laughs> All right, don't do that. That was an example of what not to do. Okay, but it's okay. Uh, we have teleport here. I think he's just gonna run away though. I don't think Ramus can one v one that. Oh wait, oh wait, go off, King. I will just run back top. We'll catch all this stuff because there's a lot of minions here. Uh, when it crashes, there'll be another way following it up. So it's like you know, it's like a kills worth of gold here. So I do want to definitely go catch this. I'll be looking for a teleport, probably bot side if a fight breaks out. The th another thing about Quins is like they will typically move a lot after laning phase. You just want to be early, ping early and often, right? And try to ping the path they go to. Don't just ping missing top. Ping like danger, danger, danger. Just running down river, right? And try to just look at your team comp and look at where how your team's position and think, okay, if I were their Quinn, how would I go about this movement wise? And that's what you want to do. Looks like this is going really well. 
We see Quinn top. The only thing here would be like a Ramus. Oh, that could be really bad. Let's see his name. Sir. Or ma'am, Shivana, you need to leave. Okay, we'll just keep pushing. Triforce really doesn't make us a split pushing a beast. We do want to kind of keep an eye on Zoe, though. Although their bottling did just die, so they might come up here too. Or at least their karma. Their Ezra did reset. Yeah, so I want to be a little bit careful here. Zoe has a lot of pride on mid. I don't want to give up another kill to her. That would be pretty rough. Until I get Sarah Sage, it's pretty spooky. So here you can see, like, I can't really push too much. I'm going to try to prioritize the next dragon is what I'm going to do. Right, let's look at Iron Dead here. Okay. Try to gather some intel. Let's see if Ramus is around. Okay, cool. Quinn has another pink as well. So if we see her again and she doesn't have that pink anymore, we know what's going on there. Let's see Zoe now. She sells that pink. I think that was a Quinn pink. I'm not sure, but... I felt like it was like a Quinn left and ended up going. Well, shoot, we'll just ring you down, baby. Again, I'm accounting for people on the map. I see almost everyone. I want to teleport so bad. But everyone's disengaging. So if everyone's disengaging, just go ahead and, you know, they can just stop fighting. We can just keep pushing this. Quinn had no mana. Nice. Good job, team. You notice I'm not, like, running around the map here, right? I'm like... I'm like, okay, I'll just keep pushing top, keep pushing top, try to create pressure. It'll slam one more time. Yep. Just being aware of who, where people are on the map, and we're going to be playing for this dragon, right? So I'm not running around, I'm not running mid, doing some weird thing there, taking his CS. I'm trying to take this really quickly. Much to deal with Zoe here, but... Nice. So, see, red buff is up, and we'll just start moving towards Drake. There's no reason to give up this Drake. I almost have Seric Sage. Should be gone. <laughs> now we're just moving down because Drake's almost up. Wait, hit that. Dude. Dude. That was kind of silly of him. Hold up. Hold up. Dodge the Zoe thing. Focus on the spirit. Kill the spirit. It's okay. Ah, I got knocked up. Ah, that's bad. That was pretty. I should have just reset, I think, instead of running over here like that. Ah, uh, botline dies. We give up dragon now. It really sucks. Ah, not a good call. Not a good call. Oh my gosh. Wowie. Yeah, Swain shouldn't have, um... Swain should have at least hung out on that fruit, used it, and then maybe run back to me. That was not a good play. Okay. We'll I'll probably just run by here. Rough game, rough game. Their team comp just isn't good for us. I'm not playing great either. It's been a few days since I played a lot, but... Um... It'll be alright. We do have our need to get every other Drake, because I don't want this Ramus having, a. Uh... Having that there ocean drake, it's not very good. I'll, see, here I'd actually like to be bottom. We don't have very many wards on the map, it's a very dark map. I guess I don't have a... I can't really tie it in by pink, but... Yeah, this is awkward. Nice, buddy. Z, Omega Law, E, boys. Sorry, let's get top. I guess we'll just go top. We really should be bot, but if Twitch is saying down there, it's pretty obnoxious, but whatever. I can cut off the coin here. I think it's worded here. We'll get the wave. Kind of an awkward mid game now. We really need to use that Drake as a good time to, to team fight. I saw two bot. Macro wise, it really should be me in their top laner bottom, but. It's one of the things where in lower ELO, people don't play the macro correctly, so you have to play kind of incorrectly. Dang. It's kind of hard to. Oh, shoot. Yeah. 
I'm dead. Dang, dude. Yeah, it's not even got a black cleaver. It's really... Hmm. Not great. I'm just going to get a Lord Dominix. I guess she wasn't good spots for me to be in. You need to not be there either. Yeah, this is bad. I can teleport when I'm up. He needs a flash. Let's see if I can work towards that, actually. You can't just let him run over us like this. Like, I don't know what we're doing. This is okay, this is okay. Yo, just turn on Zoe, Zoe. This has been really done the game. Uh. They just, they, uh, I don't know. Our team's just not playing well. I'm not playing well either. Um, what do we need to do? I need to get the bottom. That's what I need to do. Oh, we need to group in team fight. We need to group in team fight on the straight. Okay. Okay. That's what we'll do. Dang, I need to use my flash better there. Can't get Zoe. She's quite a nuisance, to say the least. Alright, I've had chat off. I try not to chat too much in these games. Oh, I do have Ali chat on, actually. I don't think they'll go Baron here. We seem to probably front to back. I can E Ramus as he comes in, and then we just focus him, and then we just focus on the next guy, and the next guy, and we just kind of we use Sona and Swain. Just keep focusing on front to back, front to back. That's a big pick. We did not need to Sona ult though. Oh, sweetie, it's bad. We need that ult. Okay, play the smart. Start poking them. Yep. Now we need to do not to be alone. This is so bad now. We're chasing Quinn. We've raised. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, you don't know. I'm here. Get her. Go back to Drake. Go back to Drake. No, no, no. Don't chase. Don't chase. Don't chase. Nice, really good. Careful, careful, careful. Try to E, try to E. Nice, big. Stay together. No. Block for me, block for me, please! Massive. Nice, okay. <laughs> Someone should have blocked for him when I got bubbled, but they didn't. That's okay. We're just like, our E's are like basically the playmakers this game, right? Our E's at least, at the very least, they help kind of like focus fire the, the enemy, our teammates. Jesus. And so, and to who to fight and when to fight. Cool. I'm going to finish this first. Do we need anti healing? We don't we really don't. I actually would rather just have the increase armor pen versus their, uh, their Ramus. This is definitely a tech buy because I didn't go Black Cleaver because I was hoping... Uh, basically, I didn't go Black Cleaver because I was hoping Ramus wouldn't be that much of an issue. But he ended up getting pretty fed. Um, so his armor's definitely, you've noticed, been a problem. So, to go into this as like a tech buy. It's not a standard build. I wouldn't recommend it too often, but... Great. We can finally be bought. Our teleport's not up yet, but it's about to be. I'm going to use my Trinity Force Brock on the Gromp here and make it a little bit quicker. Okay. 
No, Twitch, you cannot be down here. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be rude. I was just trying to get them away from bot as soon as possible. That was a really bad macro. The enemy team should have just rushed Baron straight up right there. Same. They probably are going to go Baron now. Oh no. My darlings. Alright, y'all need to wave clear. I might have to go back. I'm going to try to make a proactive play instead and just push, push, push. And hope they can just wave clear effectively. This should make them have to react. One thing I do like about like lower elo this strategy is that people really don't know what to do. No, I can't believe it. Unbelievable. I used my flash here to just try to, I figured if I got away, I could keep healing enough to fight through it. I was trying, okay, tip versus thorn mail is actually not to, try not to W the champ if you can. Every auto and W, try to try to use some on the spirit because if you hit the spirit, it actually doesn't transfer thorn mail to you, so you don't get grievous wound. I tried to do that there. Obviously, you're gonna get taunted, so at the beginning, you're gonna have a decreased healing. It didn't really matter because I got ignited anyways, but um, it's definitely something to think about when you're fighting tanks for sure. I look at the enemy team seems to be a little bit too scared to do Baron. However, Zoe's poke abilities are really carrying them right now. Oh, the reason earlier why we can't have Twitch and Sona showing bot is because if we show that I and the bot lane are all at bot lane, then um, they should they should just rush Baron. And they should just take it. I'm going to just keep chasing. Oh, wow, she goes real fast. Unfortunately, our team is not really contesting for the Baron vision too much. It's kind of spooky. We see Swain using W there. I'm definitely playing more to my split win con than I normally try to. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out. It's not good. Unbelievable. Uh, my team just. Kind of doing nothing. At least she's like Sona for coming and helping, but. Oh boy, oh boy. Chad, this. You two, this isn't looking good. Not looking good. I'm cheering chat off. If they don't understand, grouping doesn't really do too much with how they're playing is the problem. But I mean, I guess splitting isn't either, so. We need to get a kill here. We need to pick this player off. Please, do not let her get away. I shouldn't have debuted there. Or I shouldn't have queued. <laughs> we should have her here, though. Okay, they're gonna get mid in him. Kind of sucks. <sighs> they're all just gonna follow me? Okay. Well, we might as well get Vision of Baron. We need to push out mid then. If they're just gonna follow me around, then I guess we'll just. I don't know. Play the team! 
So we need your Baron Vision. Not gonna ult here, not yet. Please kill this. She almost dies there. Ah, she got the healing off. She's going mid. I'm coming. Oh, she still has that. No! I must need, um. Dang. She sells Ignite. I almost need, I almost need an anti healing now because I got Ocean Drake. I didn't think I had about that. Dang, man. Oh, I got double Ignite. Yeah, they have triple Ignites, so. You're just gonna see me get ignited a lot. Dramus is, uh. Dramus is almost 1v9. Uh, it's sad because the whole strat was to basically hope that he doesn't 1v9. <laughs> and then we just deal with everyone else, right? That was the idea behind Trinity Force. Can they defend this? They don't have Baron, she's killed minions. There we go. Okay. 200 gold till Death Sense. So we can do. We have Flash Ult. Flash Ult hasn't been that effective because Ram we kind of have to deal with Ramus a little bit and like the, the rest of the team is kind of just spreading out. Kind of what rain champs do. They kind of spread out, right? So. Oh, here we go, here we go. No, 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 I need to get out, I need to get out. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. Help him, help him, help him. Oh, they're not helping him. Oh, he gets out though. Okay, good. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. I have death sense now. I need to be careful of uh, maybe a Ezreal R or something. We need to get pinks here with our little bit of gold in our open slot. Should just defend this. If they're going to push this, it's fine. Okay. Our team is not actively trying at all to punish Zoe for any of her plays. Kind of sucks. There we go. Not the most graceful way to handle that, but it is one way. Oh, it doesn't matter though. It seems to get destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Dang, man. Oh, well. I wanted to win. We did really well in the lane, but... Um, yeah, we just couldn't do too much. Um, it was really hard. But hey, those games happen. Y'all have to y'all have to see that. Y'all have to. It's part of climbing, baby. Hey. That's alright. We'll try again. We'll hop into another one. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good one.